This is something that, that is proven in Scripture, but it's also something that I've seen in 25 years of counseling. And the fact is this. The number one desire of the human heart is for someone to know us warts and all and love us anyway. The number one desire of the human heart is for someone to know us warts and all and love us anyway. This is something that I've seen in my life. This is something that I've seen in my family. But it's also something that I observe through counseling people and uh, all over North Carolina and talking to people all over this nation. The number one desire of the human heart is for someone to know us with all of our flaws, all of our character mishaps, all of the mistakes that we make. It's for someone to know us warts and all and love us anyway. You're saying, Randy, where do you get that from Scripture? Proverbs 19.22 reveals what a person desires is is unfailing love. Now, do me a favor. Underline that word unfailing. What is it? Why does he have to add the word unfailing there? Why? Because here's what often happens. People love us until they get to know us, and then that love fails. That ever happened to you? Ever had a friend for six months and then see them no more? Ever had somebody that you were close to, that you talked to, that you thought everything was good, and then next thing you know, you, it's crickets on social media, it's crickets on the phone, it's crickets, you never see them, you never hear from them, or what? What happens? Their love for you may have been strong at the beginning, but it failed. And so what a person desires is for someone to know us, warts and all, and love us anyway. I think of my own personal life. I was blessed and cursed by my brother. My brother's two years older, two and a half years older than me. And, and in eighth grade, so that would have put me in sixth grade, he got him a girlfriend, which is really strange because I don't know if you've seen my children and you've seen me. We don't do that very well. We're not really good at getting girlfriends and boyfriends. But my brother, he was the weird one. He got a girlfriend. And she loved him. She loved him worse than all. I mean, she thought he was the cat's meow. And I saw that and I was like, man. I want that. I thought that he had found the most awesome and perfect person in the world, and I wanted that for myself. And so I spent the next years of my life, I spent decades of my life looking for that special someone that would love me warts and all and still love me after it's all said and done. And, and for years, I justified some really bad behavior, all in the name of love.